It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> we go to Lenigus. <sighs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, it would only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's got to be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy. But I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground. So I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> This is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. Our first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. <sighs> I think I'm just a little seasick, that's all. Liar. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No. Not just him. Something you can't talk about? Rinwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. 
But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. We're alike in more ways than you know. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> if anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Rinwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> my battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Still, if that's true, then it's all the more reason I have to do this. Aww, are you tired, Hoodle? You sure he's not just trying to hide from us? <laughs> all right, something is definitely up with Xion. Yeah. Something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So, do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself, but then it occurred to me. Hmm? Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... What am I supposed to do? Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? I may have exerted myself a little too much today. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. <sighs> Thinking some more about how to realize your ideals? <laughs> no. Actually, I've been trying not to obsess about it as much as before. I find when I think too much about my ideals, I get hung up on the reality of things and lose sight of what's really important. I know what it's like to go hungry. To lose your family. That should be reason enough to fight for a better society, so nobody else has to. <laughs> Sorry about that. Even thinking about things will make you hungry after a while. You wait here. I'll go whip something up for you. Thanks for the food. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Just impressed at how good of a cook you've become. Well, we've been on this journey for a while now, so I've had more than a few opportunities to hone my skills. Yeah, and now I have a good meal in me. There's a simple kind of happiness that comes with that, you know? One that's more powerful and convincing than complicated logic can be. That reminds me of something Law said, about how talking too much doesn't put food in people's stomachs. That sounds like Law, <laughs> but it's true nonetheless. When you get down to it, all you really need is enough food to keep you full and to be surrounded by people you love. Everything else comes second. Speaking of people you love, I haven't heard you talk about Magal much lately. Hmm. Wow, okay. Way to make me feel like the worst sister ever. But you're right, I haven't. If I'm honest, I think it's because I finally found other people I love just as much. Whatever kind of society we end up having after this, it needs to be a place where I know you all can be happy. That's my starting point for now. Don't worry. Once I finish folding these clothes, I'll go to sleep. Before we go, do you guys have everything? That Zugal seems intriguing. That's all you have to say about it?
Ah, oh, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us too? Dad. Hey, chin up. This is your hometown. Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? <sighs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know... <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. Oh, just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears in Dan and disputes. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? To get to Lenegas. Lenegas? Are you out of your damn mind? Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Oh, well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Nath. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor, but there's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. A zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. Hmm... Hmm? All right. <laughs> hmm? I guess... Hmm. Hmm.
Right. <laughs> I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. Everything okay with Hoodle, Rinwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Actually, Dan and owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Whoo! You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors, and his stomach and sides like a map of our travels? <laughs> Ow, lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim. I think you've drawn his attention. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I hope everyone isn't pushing themselves too hard. Whoa! That came out perfect! I'll see you again tomorrow. I couldn't eat any more if I tried. That is true happiness.
something feels odd here. Be on your guard. So we're back in the Zion Mine Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Wait, really? Yes, really. So this path is supposed to take us out to Berg Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. the inner portion of Berg Volcano. We need to find that starship, and fast! An opponent like this should be easy. Please, I never miss! Crush! Ah. The tempest engulfs you! Dance in the wind! Crush! Dance in the wind! It's a good idea! Crush! 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 Let's do it! Go for it! Prepare to crumble! Mark! We've got fire! I've got it! Let a marksman handle it! You're finished! All yours! Astral energy! Full throttle! Go! Well, looky here! should come in handy when crafting weapons. And thus our strength yet grows. Yeah. 
without you. You can make plants grow instantly? <sighs> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. Make for some good weapon crafting material. No choice. On the field. No Here I come. No further. No escape. Raging's not in your dreams. They're hiding in the armor. I'm ready. Dragon. Go for it. Prepare to crumble. No. No armor can stop me. Allow me to stay on your good side. Prime and ready. I never. This one keeps charging us. That's what my shield's for. Get behind me. Got it. I'll leave it to you. Shattering air pieces. Attack time. Dragon swarm. Do it. Go for it. Prepare to crumble. The flame inside me yearns to be let free. Eternal devastation! It's over! Eternal devastation! Be still! Strike! I'm ready! Death is the Astral energy! Full throttle! <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. My face is starting to sting. And my throat feels super parched. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. No choice. You're mine! Ignite! Armor won't save you! Captivity! Eternal devastation! You have to aim for the bright area on their back! I'm ready! Still! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! I'm no fine weapon material when I see it. Is it in the sky? It's mine! I'll be saving you! Where are you going? Hey, 
Like this should be easy. Here I come. The flame Where are you going? Your negative will be take this. Thunder shield. Denied. Wait. Resonate with the earth. Try to the wind. The clacking heart. I'm ready. Ready. One. This one's got your name on it. Ashes to ashes. A melee My destruction. Friend. There's still Shot. more to go. You got it. Now it's over. Astral energy. Full throttle! No! 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 Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. My work. But this must be the work of Providence. Prob what now? It means destiny. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, though. was undeniable. It feels invigorating to dominate a battle. I was certain I saw you yawn. 
Come now, I'm certainly not that relaxed. Do you require a hand? Here I come! Be still! Here I come! Illuminate! Be still! Point black! Everlasting takes this! Holy Reef Lantern! Too much to handle? Take this! I'm not done! I never miss! Let's turn up to the station! Don't mind if I do! It's over! Leave the chargers to me! I'm far enough! Burning? Get on board! Dragon Swarm! Do it! Still. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! With your flames and my technique... We're stronger together than we are apart. Retreat if you know what's good for you! You're mine! I'm not done! I'm Supernova! Glacial Spear! Supernova! Flaming Throne! Elusive Deity! Lord Blast! Elusive Deity! I can carve through all! Hear my call! Yamato! Get Toasty! Burn Strike! Crazy to see rocks melt before our eyes. Watch where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. So don't try anything funny. Especially you, Law. No pushing anyone. Not even as a joke. I'm not a little kid! Family staple harkening back eight generations. Uh, maybe you can just write all this down? An opponent like this should be easy. In a bind? Come forth, Holy Take Warper. this! Spirit Flare! I can carve through all! You're finished! Burn! Captain Spirit Flare! Do not! Go for the wind! 
Stronger than regular firepower. You won't hear me complaining. Callous. Calcified. Calaglia. What kind of poem is that? A sparse one. Ah, guess I misread the landing. I didn't know you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Not necessarily. Both of them contain Earth astral energy. Luckily for me, this area is rich not only in fire energy, but Earth as well. This might... Decent equipment. Anything that makes battles easier is okay by me. Victory for the ages. Retreat if you know what. Good for you. Good for all mine. Burning. Negative Burning. armor won't save you. Ah! Not today. They hit Mike with black and blue. Aim for the weak spot. Execution. Void Blast! Raging Storm! Will this help? Puddle! You're mine! Ha! Healing Trouble! Thanks so much! Reflect it! Take this! They strike with Black and Blue! Within the sky, it's mine! Kill! Ready to hit the earth! Ha! 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 This one's mine! It's over! On your knees! Take this! Now! Kizara! Go for it! Prepare to crumble! No! You're mine! Uh, Dynamite field! Denied! Seismic rock! Now! Still! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! I... I think I'm getting stronger. It's gotta bring through! Take this! The flame no inside me yearns to be let free! You picked the wrong Healing one! Circle, okay, well. here I go! Thanks, Shia. No. Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. I'll do better. Dragon Swarm! Coming through! Ha! Melt! 
Scarlet Inferno! Lightning of Raging Hatchet! Now you see what I can do! Here I go. I'll thank you! Here I go! Where are you going? Dragon Swarm! Mega Red! Now! Redwell! Astral Energy! Full throttle! Go. A flawless Lighter. victory! Strut. Naturally! Do it! Strut. Go for it! Prepare to crumble! My turn! Like a dream. I pity anyone who stands in our way. 